Choosing a place to settle down is a monumental decision, influenced by countless factors that vary significantly from one individual to another. My journey to finding a new home has taken me across continents, from the sun-soaked beaches of Australia to the historic streets of Europe, and even to the vibrant, bustling cities of Southeast Asia. However, amidst all these incredible destinations, the Philippines has emerged as my chosen haven. This narrative delves into why the Philippines, with its unique allure, has captivated my heart more than other countries, including Thailand, Japan, South Korea, and even my hometown of Portland, Oregon. Really quickly, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to know when I upload a new video. The Southeast Asian region is renowned for its tropical paradises, rich cultures, and welcoming communities. Thailand, a country often recommended for its beauty and affordability, was a strong contender in my search. Although I've never visited Thailand, the tales of its stunning landscapes, exquisite cuisine, and the warmth of its people are well known. Yet, despite these appealing aspects, the Philippines stood out for its distinct charm. The Filipino people's unparalleled hospitality and the country's English proficiency significantly influenced my decision, making it easier to integrate and communicate. Japan and South Korea, both heralded for their technological advancements and rich cultural heritage, were also considered. However, their high cost of living and the language barrier presented considerable challenges. In contrast, the Philippines offers a more affordable lifestyle without sacrificing the beauty of living in a culturally rich and technologically adept society. The ease of making connections and the genuine friendships I've forged here are irreplaceable treasures that I couldn't envision finding elsewhere. Reflecting on my decade-long experience in Australia, I cherish the vibrant lifestyle and diverse landscapes from Sydney's iconic skyline to Melbourne's artistic streets. Yet, despite these wonders, the Philippines presented a more appealing proposition. The cost of living is considerably lower, allowing for a comfortable lifestyle that would be harder to attain in Australia. Moreover, the warmth and the sense of community in the Philippines are unparalleled. The Filipino culture, with its emphasis on family and relationships, resonates deeply with my values offering a sense of belonging that I found to be less pronounced in Australia. My extensive travels through Europe exposed me to a mosaic of cultures, languages, and histories. While the architectural marvels and cultural depth of countries like Italy, Germany, and France were enchanting, they also highlighted the contrasts with the Philippines. The tropical climate, natural beauty, and the laid-back lifestyle of the Philippines offer a stark contrast to Europe's more temperate climate and fast-paced urban centers. The simplicity and richness of life here, coupled with the affordability and warmth of the local communities, made the Philippines my preferred choice. Growing up in Portland, Oregon, I was accustomed to its colder weather, which I enjoyed. Yet, as I grew older, the allure of tropical climates grew stronger. The Philippines, with its perpetual summer, pristine beaches and lush landscapes offered a welcome escape from the cold. The cost of living, the vibrant culture, and the openness of the Filipino people are aspects that starkly contrast with life in the USA. Here, I found a balance between nature and urban living that Portland couldn't offer, along with a community that embraces newcomers with open arms. Navigating the intricate world of relationships can be a fascinating journey, especially when exploring how flirting, dating, courtship, and love are perceived and practiced in different cultures. The Philippines, Australia, Europe, including countries like Italy, Germany, Spain, France, Romania, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic, Thailand, Japan, and South Korea, each offer unique perspectives on these aspects reflecting their cultural values, traditions, and social norms. Flirting and dating. In the Philippines, flirting often embodies a mix of traditional and modern approaches. There's a notable emphasis on respect and subtlety. With indirect methods of expressing interest, such as through sending love songs, writing letters, or using a harana serenade, although this is more of a romanticized tradition now, Dating in the Philippines can involve a group dynamic initially. 
transitioning to more personal, intimate dates as the relationship progresses. Family approval is significant in Filipino dating culture. Contrastingly, in Australia, flirting tends to be more direct and laid back, reflecting the overall social atmosphere of the country. Australians value straightforwardness and humor in their interactions, with a strong preference for casual dates that might include outdoor activities or a meetup at a local pub. European countries display a wide array of dating cultures. For instance, Italians are known for their passionate and expressive approach to flirting, often complemented by grand romantic gestures. In contrast, Northern European countries like Germany may exhibit a more reserved and pragmatic approach to dating, where directness and honesty are highly valued. Southern European countries, including Spain and France, embrace flirting as an art form, valuing elegance and wit. In Asia, dating cultures in Thailand, Japan, and South Korea are vastly different from Western practices. Thailand has a relatively open and liberal approach to dating, with a vibrant nightlife and social scene. Japan and South Korea, however, tend to be more conservative. In Japan, kokuhaku, confession of love, is a crucial step in starting a formal relationship, emphasizing the clarity and sincerity of one's intentions. South Korea highlights the importance of milestones, with couples celebrating numerous anniversaries and engaging in matching outfits as a public declaration of their relationship. Courtship and love. Courtship in the Philippines is traditionally a family-involved process where showing respect and commitment to the family is as crucial as to the partner. This contrasts with the more individualistic approach seen in Australia and many Western countries, where personal compatibility and mutual interests primarily drive relationships. In Europe, courtship practices can range from the casual dating scene in places like Germany and France to more traditional and romantic approaches in Italy and Spain where family and long-term intentions can play a significant role. The diversity in Europe reflects its cultural richness, with each country offering a unique blend of modernity and tradition in their courtship practices. In Thailand, while modern dating practices are prevalent, traditional values still influence courtship and love, emphasizing respect and familial approval. Japan and South Korea, with their distinct mix of tradition and modernity, place significant importance on social status, educational background, and family approval during the courtship process. Love in these cultures is often seen as a deep commitment with a strong emphasis on harmony, respect, and loyalty. Comparing and contrasting. The primary contrast between these regions lies in the balance between traditional values and modern influences. The Philippines, with its deep-rooted respect for family and tradition, offers a stark contrast to Australia's more casual and independent dating scene. Europe stands as a melting pot of cultures, with each country presenting its unique approach to love and relationships, blending traditional practices with contemporary dating trends. Meanwhile, Asian countries like Japan and South Korea maintain a delicate balance between their rich historical traditions and the evolving perspectives on love and dating reflecting their society's complex dynamics. And understanding these diverse practices enriches our appreciation of the global tapestry of human connections, reminding us that love's language, though universal, is spoken in many dialects across the world. The culinary landscapes of the Philippines, Australia, Europe, Italy, Germany, Spain, France, Romania, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Thailand, Japan, and South Korea offer a rich tapestry of flavors, ingredients, and traditions that reflect the diverse cultures, histories, and environments of these regions. Food and drink not only serve as sustenance, but also as a window into the soul of a culture, embodying its traditions, innovations, and connections to the land and sea. Philippines, versus Australia. The Philippines cuisine is a melange of indigenous, Spanish, Chinese, and American influences, creating
creating a unique flavor profile characterized by the interplay of sweet, sour, and salty tastes. Staple dishes such as adobo, sinigang, and lishan showcase the use of native ingredients like vinegar, tamarind, and coconut. Filipino cuisine emphasizes communal eating with kamayan eating with hands, highlighting the cultural value of sharing and togetherness. In contrast, Australian cuisine is marked by its diversity, reflecting its multicultural population and the influence of British culinary traditions. Modern Australian cuisine, or madas, features innovative dishes that incorporate native ingredients such as bush tomatoes, wattle seed, and kangaroo meat, celebrating the country's rich biodiversity. The coffee culture in Australia is also noteworthy, with cafes playing a significant role in social life, offering high quality coffee and cafe dishes. Europe, Italy, Germany, Spain, France, Romania, Slovakia, Czech Republic. European cuisines exhibit a wide range of flavors, ingredients, and traditions. Italian cuisine is renowned for its regional diversity from the pasta dishes of the north to the Mediterranean flavors of the south. Italian meals emphasize fresh, high-quality ingredients, with a focus on simplicity and the inherent flavors of the produce. German cuisine is hearty and robust, featuring meats, potatoes, and bread as staples. Dishes like sauerkraut, bratwurst, and schnitzel reflect the importance of preservation techniques and the need for sustaining foods in a colder climate. Spanish cuisine is characterized by its use of olive oil, seafood, and spices, with tapas showcasing the social aspect of eating. Meanwhile, French cuisine is celebrated for its finesse and variety, ranging from sophisticated dishes and fine dining to rustic regional specialties. Eastern European cuisines such as those of Romania, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic, offer hearty and comforting dishes, influenced by the agricultural practices and historical exchanges in the region. Meals often include meats, cheeses, bread, and stews, with a focus on filling and warming dishes. Thailand, Japan, South Korea. Thai cuisine is known for its bold flavors, with a balance of sweet, sour, salty, and spicy elements. Ingredients such as lemongrass, galangal, and fish sauce are staples, creating vibrant dishes that are both aromatic and flavorful. Japanese cuisine emphasizes seasonality, quality, and presentation, with sushi, sashimi, and ramen being internationally recognized dishes. The Japanese philosophy of umami, or the fifth taste, plays a crucial role in creating depth of flavor. South Korean cuisine features a wide array of fermented foods, such as kimchi, showcasing the importance of preservation techniques. Meals are typically served with a variety of side dishes, banchan, and are known for their balance of flavors and emphasis on vegetables. Comparing and contrasting. Comparatively, each region's cuisine reflects its environmental conditions, historical influences, and cultural values. The Philippines and Thailand, with their tropical climates, utilize a wide range of spices and fresh ingredients, creating vibrant and flavorful dishes. In contrast, the colder climates of Europe and South Korea have led to cuisines that emphasize hearty, comforting dishes and preservation techniques. Australia's modern culinary scene is a celebration of its multicultural fabric and native ingredients differentiating it from the deep-rooted culinary traditions of countries like Italy and Japan, which focus on regional ingredients and traditional techniques. Ultimately, the diversity in food and drink across these regions enriches the global culinary landscape, offering endless opportunities for exploration and connection through the universal language of taste. The Philippines emerges as an enticing destination for many seeking a blend of vibrant cultural experiences, affordable living, and a welcoming atmosphere conducive to forming deep connections and relationships. In terms of cost of living, the Philippines offers an economical advantage that is hard to find in many other countries. Residents can enjoy a comfortable lifestyle without the hefty price tag, 
extending their budget further in housing, dining, and leisure activities. This affordability, combined with the country's natural beauty, enhances the quality of life for both locals and expatriates. The archipelago's tropical climate ensures warm weather year-round, inviting residents to explore its endless beaches, lush landscapes, and outdoor attractions, which are integral to the Filipino way of life. The cuisine, a delightful fusion of flavors influenced by various cultures alongside the local beverages, offers an everyday culinary adventure, celebrating the country's rich biodiversity and agricultural heritage. Ultimately, the combination of friendly dating prospects, low cost of living, pleasant weather, exquisite food and drink, and a culture that values love and relationships makes the Philippines an ideal place to live for those seeking a balanced, fulfilling lifestyle. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to know when I upload a new video.